I'm Holly Resnick and welcome to DT Daily. Coming up, how a movie might change the science of black holes, getting the feel for a virtual reality, and another Apple One computer goes to auction, can this one fetch a million dollars? Batman director Christopher Nolan's long-awaited sci-fi epic Interstellar opens this weekend and work on the special effects for the movie may have an impact on actual science. Astrophysicist Kip Thorne consulted on the movie, which involves astronauts traveling through wormholes near black holes in hopes of finding a new home for humanity. Nolan wanted the special effects to be based in reality, and some massive computer simulations of black holes were required. But when they ran the science-based black hole scenarios, some odd results came back, including this compelling scene from the preview reel. Thorne said the effects are both scientifically accurate and quite different from what previous black hole behavior research predicted, and he plans to write some papers on what they found. Virtual reality could be the next big tech thing, and so far most efforts focus on what virtual worlds look like. But one Kickstarter campaign is more focused on what it will feel like. The Dexmo F2 exoskeleton by Dexter Robotics provides tactile feedback for virtual knots, so when you pick something up in virtual reality, you actually feel it in, well, real reality. The F2 works as a multifaceted input device as well, but the system works both ways. It can also be used in other applications, such as real-time translation of sign language or remotely disabling bombs. Really, there's almost no limit to what it can do. Dexta is looking to raise $200,000 and they're on their way. You can get an F2 kit for a $179 pledge, which seems pretty reasonable. Remember that Apple One computer the Ford Foundation just paid a tick over $900,000 for? Well, another Apple One computer is about to go to auction and it may well top a million dollars when the hammer falls. Why? Because most experts agree that this is the actual first Apple One computer sold. And on top of that, it was personally sold by one Mr. Steve Jobs back in 1976 out of his parents' garage. Plus, it still works, which really helps the value, and there's even a canceled check to Apple for provenance. In fact, this computer's journey to auction is so interesting, there's actually a book about it. Chrissy's auction house has pegged the value at four to six hundred thousand dollars, but we're going to bet it does way better than that when it goes to auction on December 11th. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you again tomorrow.